Welcome to Raw Kansas City. I'm your host this evening, Miss Conception, and we are ready to rock it. Let's go. Hi, my name is Charlene Hinthorn, and I'm a fashion designer. I had a little urban tea shop, sold little candles and handmade soaps and all these fun little things. And everybody kept coming in and saying, I keep expecting to see tie-dye. I couldn't figure out why, because it wasn't a hippie store and I wasn't trying to be a hippie store, it was a little herb store. So I decided instead of buying tie-dye that didn't match up on the front to back, like a lot of things do, and um, I, I would learn to do it myself. I'm, I'm an artist as, uh, I like to pretend, you know, I like to pretend I'm an artist, but I like to say I'm an artist as well. I don't pretend all the time. I actually do paint. I actually do make pieces. I have painted on canvas, and I had a lot of those things for sale in my store as well. So I thought, okay, you know what? I'll learn how to do tie-dye. Well, I'm a hippie at heart. I wish I would have been a hippie, but I was unfortunately born the year of the big show, just months before. Um, I love the hippie culture, the spirit, um, I love the music. There's so many things just about that time period that has just always been in my heart. And so tie-dye, when it became a, a, a hey, we're asking for it kind of thing, um, I decided that I wanted to take it outside of that era and bring it into now. So I did that by eliminating the multicolor swirl and the typical, you know, what you would see on the psychedelic end of the spectrum of tie-dye and make it more wearable art. And actually each piece is done by hand, the old fashioned way with rubber bands, lots of snapping, uh, lots of pinching my fingers and it, it looks like a monstrosity by the time I'm finished with it. I like to wave it around at my kids and scare them with them because they look like big spiders and stuff sometimes. And they're each done by hand, each dyed by hand, each washed by hand, <laughs> dried by hand. Uh, <clears throat> and then if I have to re-dye it, it goes back into the same process all the way over, start to finish. I like to take pieces that uh, maybe were a beautiful bridesmaid's dress, but the color was absolutely all wrong and maybe the shape needs just a little bit added to it and I like to strategically draw out how to make it come in and give the dimension that the dress deserves to have so that's also part of what I do with the actual tying and dyeing process is to actually give it not only a new life and a new color and some updating but give it its own unique character and each piece has its own name as an art piece because each piece is usually inspired by nature as well, colors outside, you know. I would love to do a fashion show in Woodstock that is actually in the works. Has been for a little while, but it's still a possibility, so we're not rolling it out. Um, my other goals are to have my product in stores, which I do have it in one. I'm um, putting it into a second store on Friday of this week, as a matter of fact. And then I'm looking into a third store outside of Kansas City to start branching out to um, sell my clothes in different boutiques uh, just all over wherever I can. I love everything that RAW stands for. I, I love the community spirit of it. I love the family closeness of it. I love the camaraderie, the, the, you know, all the different people that you meet. <clears throat> I love that the fact that it's, it's a night where uh, so many different types of artists can come together and, and be as one, but yet be individual at the same time. Um, it gives me personally an opportunity to meet people that I never would have met before, artists that I may not know. I just love the fact that there's so many cities also involved and everybody you know, is really trying to support art itself. You can learn more about me and my work by visiting my raw profile 
at www.rawartist.org slash innerhippie. My name is Charlene Henthorne and I'm a raw artist.